In this video we are going to paint this painting in a square size of 35 by 35 centimeters. It's a piece with a very special vehicle. I kind of captured a time lapse from the beginning of the drawing right to the very last details. Welcome back to the studio. My name is Wim. If you are new here, this is a place where I talk about paintings, painting techniques, art marketing and much more. So consider subscribing if you are a painter or just enjoy looking at art. Okay, let's get stuck into the time machine. Pick up the brushes and let's start working. I start with a light grey wooden panel. I paint on the MDF panel with four layers of gesso. The last layer of gesso contains some black acrylic which makes it look grey. The basic drawing has just been placed on the panel. The next step is to apply the light and dark areas and some color here and there. I use acrylics for this underpainting. Of course you can use oil painting as underpainting as well. But I prefer the quick drying acrylics above oil painting. Slowly you can see depth in the work by using different values. I often get my inspiration from my own garden. Nature is an inexhaustible source of inspiration. This is Physalis. Its common name is Chinese lantern or winter cherry. These cheerful lanterns emerge from autumn and stay well into winter. As you can see this whole setting is still pretty empty now. But I'll be adding more things along the way, so don't worry. I leave a lot of room for my imagination. Remember that Rome wasn't built in one day either. Ok, now the fun part begins. Let's start in oils. As always I start from back to the front. This makes sense to me, but if you are new to painting this is quite an important aspect to know. I think this warm grey background works well against the light surface I placed this vehicle on. In this way the main subject gets full attention. The wheels are from the Japanese lantern plant. This delicate character contrasts very well with the hard and cool glass of the car and the smooth surface. These two animals are striped grass mice and are native to Africa. Luckily I didn't have to travel to Africa to take pictures of these cute animals. The Antwerp Zoo has a few in their collection. Next to these grass mice is a so-called elephant shrew, which is actually kind of a mouse. Elephant shrews are small quadrupedal insectivorous mammals resembling rodents or opossums with scaly tails, long snouts and legs quite long for their size, which are used to move from one place to another like rabbits. I choose to place chocolates on the back of the elephant shrew. This is their food on the go. Ok, not the most healthy food I know, but this is my world, my painting. I've darkened the lowest part of the painting a bit to get more attention to the car. Now that everything on the painting is painted in oil, I can start the last layer, the so-called glazing layer. This is the finishing layer and gives extra depth to the subjects. Here's where the magic happens. With an extra layer you create a 3D effect. 
The colors also become even more intense with such a second layer. Finally, I add some dust and color to the air bubbles and I can start to say that this painting is cold finished. Of course, this painting still needs to dry and then get a layer of varnish to bring out the colors and values again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you have come away with some new ideas and techniques. If you want even more information about my paintings, make sure to find my website by clicking wimbals.com or the link down below in the description. If you like this video, hit that like button and leave a comment below. But make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I have another fresh new video on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. It was an absolute pleasure to have you here. I will see you again in the next video.